Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. I am Laura of LKG329 Sales over on eBay, Instagram, and here on YouTube. In this week's video, we've got seven orders going out, so let's get to it. It is Monday, April 1st, and we've got two orders going out. First order going out is a set of books that I was able to source for free from another local reseller who was having a yard sale and gave me the opportunity to go over after the yard sale and pick what I wanted of the leftovers because whatever was left was going to be donated. And this was a set of books that he said, hey, you need to take these. He said they were pretty good. And this is a three book set of the Gulag Archipelago by... I don't know if I can pronounce this guy's name right. Alexander Solzhenitsyn. <laughs> so, you can see it on the screen. I probably completely butchered that. But uh, these are in pretty good condition. And so I have no cost in these. But they sold for $125 plus shipping. And second order going out are some vintage little like melamine plastic plates or saucers really these are actually the saucers and these are let's see if I can get their provolon prolon prolon wear uh, this is a set of eight plates and these are from the bible camp kitchen that we're selling stuff off for and all the profits go back to the camp to do some upgrades in the kitchen and stuff but these sold for six dollars and seventy five cents plus shipping so the total going out the door today is $131.75 plus shipping. It is Thursday and the weather has really cooled off, but the sales seem to be picking up. First order headed out is a Canon PowerShot G3 4.0 megapixel camera. I picked this up last year during the Highway 127 sale and it's really clean looks really nice however it unfortunately has the black screen of death so listed it for parts or repair for ten dollars or, or 9.99 the buyer actually sent me an offer at five dollars for it and before i could even respond i got the notification that it had been purchased at full price and so i looked at it and it was the same person that sent me the offer so they're getting this for 9.99 plus shipping Next up, though I do not recommend reselling these, they're not that valuable like I had hoped they were. Picked these up, I think it was toward the end of 2022 when I started reselling, and I bought a ton of these Avon bottles. Uh, paid, I think it was like $15 for 60 some odd pieces, and some of them sold pretty good, but uh, I've made my money back on them, but there's not a lot of profit to be had. With these three, I rounded out to about 75 cents is what I have with these three. And these are empty. And these are the chess pieces. And you got the king, queen, and I think that's the rook. <laughs> I hope I'm right on that. Don't play a lot of chess. But these are headed out for $9.99 plus shipping. And the last order headed out is a perfect example of why it's great to let friends and family know that you are reselling online. This was given to me by a dear friend, and she said that they had bought it and ended up never using it, never installed it. This is a Kohler uh, faucet, Kohler Forte laboratory faucet, and I'll pop up pictures so you can actually see what it looks like. And she just asked me if I'd be interested in it, if I would like to sell it. I said, sure, what do you want for it? She said, no, just you take it. If you can sell it, sell it. If not, that's fine. I said, all right, I'll take it. Got it, looked it up, and I was a little surprised. I listed it for 150 I did list it high, to be honest. And ended up, I sent out an offer for 125 They countered at 100 and so I accepted that. So this is headed out for $100 plus shipping. 
So my total for these three orders headed out today is $119.98 plus shipping. It's Friday. We've got a lot of noise in the background, so I do apologize. Hopefully it won't be too distracting, but we've got two more orders ready to go out. First order going out is a set of eight acrylic creative wear tumblers. I got these at an estate sale toward the end of last year. And there's four colors. There's two of each color. There's red, yellow, green, and I think purple. Yeah. And I really like these. They feel nice. Um, I don't know like what the year make or anything is for these. But they've got that really nice swirl pattern. Um, I personally would not use these just simply because... That's going to be hard to clean because that pattern, the outside is smooth, but the pattern is on the inside. Like it is ribbed on the inside to get that ribbon look. And that just doesn't seem like it would be fun to clean to me. But anyways, paid $4 for all eight of these and they have sold for $19.99 plus shipping. And the other order going out is also from a, an estate sale, not the same one, but still an estate sale. And it's a book, A Treasury of the Familiar and edited by Ralph L. Woods. This is a hardback copy, not in the greatest condition, so I did list it a bit low, but there's no markings or inscriptions or anything. You can see it's got a little bit of water damage and stuff to it, but that is all in the pictures and in the description. I paid a dollar for this and it sold for $8.99 plus shipping. So the total for today on these two orders is $28.98 plus shipping. So for this video, I had seven orders going out for a total of $280.71 plus the shipping. My cost of goods on those items was $15.75. eBay fees were $51.95. And all the shipping expenses were covered by the shipping that was charged, leaving me an actual product profit of $213.01. I haven't quite got back to sourcing yet, so I don't have anything to show you as far as a haul, so my spending for sourcing is zero for this week's video. So we'll move on to a review of first quarter and see how that went for me. So during the first quarter, which is January, February, and March, I had a total of 48 sales for $1,031.44. My cost in the items that sold was $126.17. eBay fees on those items were $180.89. Shipping was $10.34. I do have more items in my store that are free shipping now. So not all of those expenses were covered this time. And then I did have an item that got broke during shipping. So I did do a partial refund at $52.50 for that sale. And then general supplies and equipment and so forth were $312.55, leaving me a profit of $348.99 for the first quarter. So as I'm getting back out into reselling again, I decided to start back up with my monthly goals. So for April, my goals for this month is first of all, to do an end and sell similar on all the items in my store and make sure everything is right and where I want it to be as far as pricing description and everything like that. And also I've added custom SKU numbers to my listings and realized that I needed to change that a little bit so it will actually function the way that I want it to. So for the month of April, each day I've got listings that I'll end and then do sell similar on, and that will give me a chance to do an individual update on those custom SKU numbers without spending two or three or however many hours it would take to sit there and go through and edit each individual one all at one time. I'll just spread it out over the course of the month, and then it's not a huge task, and hopefully I'll actually get it done that way. Secondly is new listings. Obviously you can't sell without listing and I've still got inventory that I need to get listed, which I have been working on. But for the month of April, there are a few days that I don't have items to end and sell similar on. So I've got six days, I think, for those. So I'm going to take and get a minimum of five new listings for those six days throughout the month. And then once those days are covered, then just as I get items ready to list, they're just gonna be listed immediately. I'm not gonna schedule them out except for those six days that I don't have so similar items to do and just try and get back on listing as much as possible. 
And that'll do it for this video. As always, I do hope you enjoyed it. And please be sure to hit that like button if you did. Feel free to leave me any feedback, questions, or suggestions in the comments below. And I hope to see you in the next one.